So now in this video, we're gonna quickly look at a voltage divider using a trimmer potentiometer, which is usually shortened to trim pot. And it has the property, you put the power supply across it, usually the full power supply, but it don't have to be the full power supply, but whatever voltage you have across it, there is a wiper, a third terminal. And since there's some resistance towards the positive side, some towards the negative side, depending on the position of the wiper, you will either get the full voltage of the uh, power supply, or you can go all the way down to what's considered uh, zero volts ground the negative side of the power supply. So here is the trim pot that I use in uh, my videos where I need a trim pot these days. There's a, a pin on the top and a pin on the bottom. They connect to opposite ends of a resistive element and then the middle pin is the wiper right there. Pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna put the middle pin to the white jumper and then the other two pins to there. So we're just gonna measure the resistance first. And uh, so as I said before, it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor, but these trim pots I find are not uh, terribly accurate with the uh, actual resistance from end to end right there. So 9.6, but it's about 10 kilo ohms of resistance. Now we'll try to connect to these uh, two spots. So I got the black probe to the wiper, red probe there. Color does not matter, it's not polarized. But you can see when I turn the trim pot down, resistance goes up. When I turn it up, then resistance goes up. That's between those two points. If I move the uh, red jumper over to uh, there. Now, when it's up, it's low resistance. And when I turn it down, the resistance goes up. So it's looking at uh, those two resistances when you power it. And we will move this over and do that. So we don't want to measure resistance while it's powered. So I'm gonna change this to voltage. Right there, voltage. Pretty straightforward. Now, we're gonna have power applied to it. So I'm gonna go to ground. Our voltage is gonna be in relationship to ground. It isn't always in relationship to ground, but uh, to look at it simply as a voltage divider, it helps a lot. So there we are about halfway. I have the power supply set to 10 volts. When I turn this all the way up, you can see it's uh, just shy of 10. And when I turn it all the way towards the negative rail down here, it is uh, nothing right there. And uh, so there we go. We set about halfway, it looked like uh, five. And there you can see we got 10 volts from the power supply. So the trim pot gives you a variable. Whenever you wanna change it, you can quickly change it. Variable voltage between those two points. The multimeter has, I think 10 million ohms of resistance. When it measures voltage, I believe that's what it is. And so it holds that voltage pretty true. As long as whatever you're giving that uh, voltage to has high impedance, you want something that doesn't take any current, it will hold that voltage. So usually use an amplifier or something so that it can transfer, use that voltage however it uses it, I should say, without affecting it. If you put like an LED there, the voltage is going to drop down quickly. And uh, so you want something with uh, high impedance most of the time. So in any case, that's really about all there is to uh, using the trim pot as a uh, variable voltage divider. Or you could just use it as a variable resistor. Just get rid of one of these jumpers and then wire it up where it is a resistor on one end or the other, if you want to do that. So make sure you turn off the multimeter when you're done. I'm gonna pop up some other videos and uh, make sure you check those out. Make sure you click subscribe, like the bell. I will see you in the next video.